This is BBC One in the South. Now the news with George Alagaya, Sophie Rayworth and Sally Taylor. At six o'clock, these are tonight's top stories. British troops are ready, but there'll be one last summit for peace. Sparks fly at chorus, the boss quits as it loses half a billion pounds. A Scottish mum drowns in Peru, saving her three young children. Tonight, the surgery, which means actor Christopher Reeve can breathe on his own again for the first time in eight years. And Robert Hall has news of heady heights on the BBC's Red Nose Day. Yes, we'll be hearing live from Jack D, the man with no head for heights who's about to confront his demons in the name of charity. In the South, why were lives put at risk? That's what an MP is asking about a drugs trial at one of the South's hospitals. And protecting children, the new technology which is banned at a leisure centre. Good evening, welcome to the six o'clock news. First tonight, that emergency summit. It's being called a last bit of diplomacy on Sunday. You did, some charts. You, you did brilliantly. We don't need we those need charts. We need to know a dry spell. <laughs> All right, it's nearly half past six. We'll have the latest on the top stories just before seven. Stay with us. Before that, it's time to join the BBC's news teams across the United Kingdom.